everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah and today we're going to work on my new dragon pattern that I'm designing. So if you can't tell already, I'm still a bit sick. So if my voice is a little weird, that's why. I have finished the wings for this dragon and the body. So now I have the legs and then the back details and the face details. Uh, the problem is I ran out of yarn. So I had to place an order because the only Michaels near me doesn't have any Sweet Snuggles light in stock at all, which is a bummer, serious bummer. This is all the yarn I have left and there's nothing I can really do about it until I get that new yarn in. Now it's not a total loss because I do have to make a second dragon because I'm doing two different wing types. This is the first one, it has an extra joint and the second one is just a triangle. So I have to do two different dragons for that. So today, that's what we're going to be doing instead. I'm going to be working on the second dragon until I run out of that yarn too, which I'm pretty certain I will. So I will be working in a very pretty yellow color. Actually, let me just go grab it. Here we are. This yellow color right here, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, ignore the scrap yarn pile over there. This is the color I'll be working with. I probably will run out just like with the green before I finish, um, which I'll be ordering more of this as well. So we'll see how far I can get. I haven't quite decided secondary colors for either of these yet. Or, it's really hard to choose. Do I go with a green, like all green, or do I do green and pink? Like it's so hard to choose. Same with the yellow, I could do a darker yellow, but I probably will pick something different. So we'll see. It is currently the 31st 
and I have officially run out of yarn. So this is about as far as I got on the body, which is actually a lot further than I thought I would. I have all the ears, the legs, the wings, and then the horns done for the yellow one. And then I just have the wings and the facial features done for the green one. And I don't have enough yarn to, I don't think I would even be able to make a leg with this. So out of yarn completely. I did place the order yesterday, so hopefully I'll get it soon. I'm really hoping I get it soon. Um, but that means that's it for this project. Unless this yarn comes in before Sunday. Look at guys, I got my yarn and it is Friday, which means I have plenty of time to finish the dragons with you and we don't have to make a part three. I will decide which one I want to start with. I can't, it's really hard to choose. I think I'm gonna go finish the yellow one. I'm almost done with the yellow one. I just have to finish the body. So that's what we're gonna start with. And then we're gonna finish the green one. I have a couple clips I need to film for the tutorial version that I'm gonna link with the actual pattern. So I am think I'm gonna finish both bodies before I film those. I have finally finished all the parts for both dragons. So there's only one thing left to actually crochet. Technically it's two things. And that is the uh, tail detail and all of the spikes along the back and the head of the dragon. I will be filming one of them. I think I'll be filming the green one uh, to put in the pattern for a tutorial so I can Put a little bit less explaining into that step in the actual pattern because i don't know about you guys i don't know how many of you are designers but my least favorite part is describing how i sew everything together i don't know why i have such a hard time with it but i do which is why i like to film these extra tutorials especially for paid patterns i mean people are paying money for this i might as well put all my effort into it so that's the plan I have to film a video. I think I'm gonna film a couple shorts of putting these together because I have the ability to, so why wouldn't I? I personally really love these, this wing type, way more than this wing type. But I know how a lot of people talk, say that they like both, so that's why I'm including it in the pattern. But leave your vote in the comments. I'd love to know which one you like more because, I mean, they're both really cute. Both shapes are cute, but there's just something about the more detailed one that uh, I just like it a lot more. Okay, so it is late in the afternoon. It is 4.30. I need to finish this project today. 
I just finished filming the video for the spikes, so they're all done. The tail is finished. This is the head. I've sunk the eyes in and everything. And I did it for both dragons. Here's the other one. So the colors aren't entirely accurate. This is more like a hot pink. And it's very kind of red on camera. Um, I, I promise you it looks even prettier in person. So um, I have to tuck in all the tails for the scales, take some photos, make sure I have enough, and then sew everything together. And I need to do that quickly because I have to make dinner soon. I made this unicorn a little while ago. It broke my fingers off, but it is so cute, so little. This pattern is my own pattern if you haven't seen it yet, and it is actually out now, which is so cool. It's actually the first pattern that I've made for paid patterns. You can find this little unicorn over on my Rippler shop and in my Ko-Fi shop, which is always linked in the description. Now, let's get into the dragon. I don't know why I thought this would be fast. This is the face done, thankfully. That took me 20 minutes? Actually, it took me half an hour, which I was sewing pretty slow. But that's the face done with the extra details. So now all I have to do is sew the legs on and then the wings on, and then I'll be done. It is looking really cute, even though it is taking way longer than I thought it would. Um, here's the thing, if I can finish this one, I can get the final photos I need for the actual pattern and then finish this one on my own time. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try and just get this one done. It's all stuffed and ready to go, so I just need to sew it on. And the yellow yarn doesn't fall apart very easily, which means it should be pretty easy to sew this together. So here's the first leg. Leg number two, leg number three. And finally, leg number four is attached. So now all we have left to do are our wings. And then this dragon will be done. I snapped a few photos with the leg placement. So I can just sew these wings on and we'll be done with this dragon. So let's do that. Hey everyone, it is currently Saturday. I finished my yellow dragon, uh, but I don't have it right now. I'm gonna grab it in a few minutes. But I do wanna talk about my new patterns coming soon. This guy will be a free tutorial here on YouTube. Just a little caterpillar to celebrate spring and super cute, super quick. You can make it as long as you'd like, as short as you'd like. So yeah, I just wanted to show off a little bit before we finish our final dragon. This will be the last step in this video. The last step for the pattern is just putting everything together and being done. So let's finish today.
So I just finished filming the last clip for the tutorial portion of the dragon pattern. So I'm going to be putting that into the dragon pattern if you decide to purchase it. It'll be showing you how to crochet the back ridges, the wing details, the extra joint. You want to crochet the extra joint and just where everything is placed, like especially when compared to the eye. So all that is finished. I need to get some final photos of these guys and finish writing up the pattern. I just spent like the last hour and a half working on the pattern. Um, honestly don't want to look at the computer ever again, but that's my least favorite part about these is the actual putting it together phase and that is the hard part. So now that I have all the photos taken, there is no excuse not to finish the pattern and get the tester call out. Hopefully by the time this video is out, my tester call will be up and active. You can sign up over on Instagram. I'll have a post and with, with a few instructions, they're not very hard. Just mostly sharing and saving the posts and stuff like that. So if you're interested in testing this pattern, I'd love to have you. You can apply on Instagram. Otherwise, you'll have to wait till the pattern comes out, which will be on Ribbler and my Ko-Fi shop. Other than that, I think that's everything. I think these dragons are now complete. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I really, really appreciate it. It means so much to me that you guys are watching and you're commenting and liking and sharing and all those things. So thank you very much. I hope to see you in my next video. So next week I actually have a tutorial coming out. Uh, it's for these little caterpillars, which I showed you earlier. Next week I will film a tutorial for these. And then the week after that, we're actually gonna be doing a, another eBay restock. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date. And I hope to see you crocheting my caterpillar. If you're not a crocheter, I hope to see you at my restock so you can see all the things that I'm putting in my eBay shop. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!